Good evening guys, it's Sunday and uh, we are going to have a special episode today and this came from a question we received from our Investigrams and uh, the question goes, how do you know when a stock is overpriced or undervalued? And I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, discuss this further and uh, the topic today is understanding intrinsic value because that question is closely related to this topic. So this is a stock market basics and uh, uh, carry on and uh, let's begin. So there are several stocks in the Philippine Stock Exchange and I just have a question for you. Which of these stocks do you think is cheaper? Euro, who is who is uh, currently traded at two pesos and fifty cents a share, or eight pesos and seventy two cents a share, which of these stocks uh, do you think is cheaper? So if you're new, right away you can say, oh, it's gonna be euro because it's only two pesos and fifty, and uh, it's really cheaper. If I have one thousand pesos, I can buy more shares with euro okay but let's find out let's find out whether euro is indeed a much cheaper stock in terms of value or is it gonna be tech okay now when do we know if a stock is overvalued and undervalued an overvalued stock of course is uh, a stock that is uh, traded which price is higher than the intrinsic value okay again when a stock price is traded greater than the intrinsic value that becomes overvalued when a stock price is traded lower than the intrinsic value then that becomes undervalued now I have a video um, to further explain this so it boils down to intrinsic value so this video will talk about that in a very simplified manner so this came from investopedia and uh, let's start while a company's fair market value is an important factor in determining its worth as an investment its intrinsic value also has some bearing on its stock price as the name applies intrinsic value is somewhat subjective and difficult to estimate some investors base intrinsic value on a qualitative factor, such as a company's governance, while others determine its value based on a company's ability to create earnings. For example, Rob, the CEO of Bob's Construction, is convicted of fraud. Even though stock for Bob's Construction has strong fundamentals and a history of steady growth, Rob's conviction generates negative publicity for the company and the stock price drops 60%. The reason for the drop is that the scandal caused some investors who value corporate governance to lose confidence in the company. Although the scandal hurt both the reputation and stock price of Bob's construction, a discounted cash flow analysis of the company determines that the intrinsic value of its stock is still $50. This means the current market value of the company's stock is cheaper than its true value and presents an opportunity for investors to buy the stock at a discount. the um, intrinsic value of a stock so let's go back to the two stocks we mentioned earlier I want to save you guys from the complex calculation on how the intrinsic value is calculated I just want to bring you to this section in investigrams that will help you identify that okay so for instance we go to euro and uh, all we have to do is go to this section, which is the PE ratio. Okay. Currently, euro is uh, traded at two dollars. I mean, two pesos and fifty cents. Its um, price earnings ratio is sixty to fifty. Definitely, uh, 
based on the financial situation of the company, the assets, and everything that was calculated on the back end, <clears throat> it mentioned that its value is 62.50, and we are now trading at two pesos and fifty cents. What about tech? Tech, on the other hand, has a value of 872 pesos, but it is traded at only 8.72. Okay, so one thing to take note of when we talk about the intrinsic value, this is based on historical performance. Their um, income in the previous years, their assets and everything, right? But sometimes you also have to consider a forward-looking uh, price earnings ratio. You will wonder why some of the stocks are traded so high, even though their intrinsic value or their price earnings ratio is so small. That is because the market feels that there is a big potential in terms of growth for this particular stock. Let's use JFC as an example. JFC based on price earnings ratio is only valued at 23.39. Reason for that is previous performance in terms of uh, their financials, they're only valued at that. But even, even if the, uh, the stock has declined up massively because of what, ha what is currently happening um, worldwide, so we're currently recording this video amidst the pandemic. So almost all the stocks, 80 to 90% of the stocks in the Philippine market are currently down. Even then, we're still way, way above the price earnings ratio of uh, Jollibee. Let's take a look at BDO. BDO has an entrance uh, price earnings ratio of 1048 but we're currently trading above that so what does this tell us it simply means that this aspect of um, your analysis should not be the main basis okay this is just uh, some facts that you can refer to so you know the um, financial condition of the company but that does not really determine your your next moves you have technical analysis to also take note of uh, for instance if we go back to uh, euro so let us say both both stocks have uh, a big potential because their uh, price earnings ratio is really above or we're currently undervalued okay but if you are to look at the um, chart of our uh, euro currently this has a more promising formation compared to uh, tech okay we currently uh, are almost outside of uh, the Bollinger Band this is the current resistance that we have plotted here and we are uh, we have somehow broken that okay let me just so we are seeing a resistance at 2.35 and we're triggering the upper Bollinger Band. And uh, that would mean that the next possible movements, of course, would be to the upside. However, if you are to go check our tech over here, tech has a uh, price earnings ratio of 8.72, but your our, our chart over here has given us a bearish signal, so there's a big chance that it might uh, retrace, for, retrace first before it continues its upward movement. Okay, there you have it. Okay, 8.72 at the moment, but it might decline a little bit before it goes upward again. So, pair you, you have to pair your uh, fundamental analysis with your technical analysis so that you can. Uh, really uh, maximize the full potential of your earnings. So that 
in itself is our bite-sized learning for the day. I hope you have learned something new about um, identifying whether a stock is overpriced or undervalued and how we can uh, use the different sections here of uh, the uh, Investigrams page that talks about the, of course, the details of the stocks. In the meantime, thank you for watching this video. If you have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button, like, and drop a comment if you like. Uh, in the meantime, uh, have a happy, happy Sunday. Bye-bye for now.